Hey, what's up guys? I'm Max, the barbecue guru at House of Barbecue Experts. And today I'm gonna talk to you about one thing I really love and another thing I really love, bison and ribs. Oh yeah, I'm gonna cook some bison ribs. With what? Some of my favorite ingredients. So I'm gonna use the Appalachian rub. This rub is insane on any kind of like wild game, like moose, be uh, beer, and also uh, like uh, anything actually. Anything that has a foreleg and that can walk Usually it's gonna be really great on it. I also use it on beef and today I'm gonna use it on bison. And of course Montreal steaks, spice, steak rub. Uh, great on steak but also great on short ribs, great on brisket, great on anything. For a bison ribs, I gotta use that. And to finish that, definitely gonna ap apply uh, some great sauce. I call it the Black Swan Sweet Cognac. This is made with cognac, this is made with love. It's gonna be like a flavorful sauce, but also some kind of a like royalty sauce, definitely. Cognac for me is like royalty, sorry about that. So it's great, so this one is gonna be great. And of course, I'm gonna be using my butcher paper. Why? Because aluminum paper is okay, but butcher paper is great for any kind of meat when you talk about beef actually, uh, mostly beef with uh, to, uh, everything you, you know about brisket, everything you know about like steaks, even when you want to let it cook slowly or just rest a huge steak, you can do it with that. So for bison ribs, definitely uh, butcher paper is gonna be great to keep all the flavor, all the moisture and all the flavor. I'm gonna show you that right now. So here we go with the best bison ribs you'll ever had, that's for sure. To be true, I'm looking at them and I'm really trying to control myself not to just bite it and just eat it all and you're just gonna see some bones and that's it. I'm gonna wait after the grill, I promise. So what I did, I took some bison ribs and I cooked them like a beef short rib. What you're gonna do if you do that is to get a smoker or turn your grill into a smoker. That's what I did with this barbecue. I made, made sure that the heat was deflected and turned this, bar, uh, this grill into a smoker. That's really the best way to do. You're gonna reach 275 degrees uh, and in the, the, the charcoal, and if you actually, if you use a gas grill, you're gonna use wood chips, but I use charcoal, so I use wood chunk. I put, I placed some wood chunk in two spots. One, two actually that were in uh, where the charcoal was lit and to where the charcoal was not lit yet because slowly it's gonna lit and it's gonna slowly burn your wood chunk which is gonna keep the flavor of smoking chocolate. This is perfect with this kind of, of, of cooking. I also use uh, some uh, bourbon barrel wood chunk because bourbon barrel are made from oak and oak is gonna give a lot of flavor, a good flavor and mixed with the bourbon is gonna be really perfect. While your barbecue is reaching its temperature, you're gonna be uh, rubbing your bison rib with two types of rubs. I use Montreal rubs and also the Appalachian rubs. This one has really great, good, uh, big grain actually, so you're gonna have some paper, uh, pepper, grain, some uh, onion, dried and everything, so it's a little bit bigger. And this one is more thin, like the grain are all fine and all the same, so you're gonna start with this one. Whatever type of rub you use, always use the bigger one first and then you fill in the blank with the smaller one. It's like rocks and sand. If you fill a bowl with rocks and sand, you're gonna be able to put all the rocks first. So you're gonna have a lot of space to put more sand in it. You know what I mean? So it's a kind of the same way. When your barbecue reaches 275 degrees, you're gonna put your uh, bison ribs inside of it on top. And remember, it's your grill has been turned to a smoker. So you really wanna make sure that it's slow cooking and you don't have a lot of heat. So when you take your ribs, you're not gonna put them on the uh, on the grate and hear a noise like uh, like a searing. It's just gonna be like putting something in the oven or something like that. So with this type of cooking, you're gonna be able to cook it for two to three hours. Actually, I would be looking at it after one hour and a half to two hours and look at the temperature. Once you're gonna uh, once you uh, reach the temperature of around 160, 165. Make sure that you wrap it with some uh, butcher paper. A butcher paper will be really the best. You can also use aluminum foil. Yeah, exactly. Butcher paper, take it like that. You foil, uh, wrap it uh, inside of it and you let it cook for another 35, like 45 to one hour uh, until it reaches a temperature around 195 degrees Fahrenheit. When that happens, you put it out, pull it out of the, gray, uh, the smoker get ready to grill. So if you have two grill, that's what I did. This one was 
hotter, so around 400, 500 degrees. If you have a gas grill, you can also uh, turn it up. Or if you have a, a smoker that you can also turn to a grill, don't hesitate to remove that part and just grill over the fire. Before you do that, you're gonna add that sauce. That sauce is awesome. If you know AmazingRibs.com, this is one of the, uh, the barbecue uh, chronicers. They do the, all the, 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 the chronicle about the barbecues and the, the re, uh, review and everything. Max Good, amazing guy, been in the barbecue business for a long time. You know what flavor is, you know what barbecue is. And this is the black swan sauce that he created with his wife. It's awesome because of two things. First, all the ingredients are insane, are really good quality, but he has some cognac in it. So cognac, bison ribs. You know what I mean? One plus one equals two. It's gonna give you exactly that. You put the sauce on it and you grill it over the fire for 30 seconds to one minute and then you enjoy your bison grill. I hope you had fun watching this video. I hope you learned a lot uh, about how to, 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 to smoke and to cook uh, bison ribs and also I hope you're gonna do it because this is, will be delicious. That's for sure. Thanks for watching. Continue to follow us, House of Barbecue Experts. We gather people around flavor and fire.